Hello, today I would like to show you a little experiment. We are going to try power my Kodan NGT as air out of a military battery. This is a BB390B and this is a nickel metal hydride battery. You might ask yourself question why I choose that one if you clearly see on my other videos that I'm using a newer generation that I are lithium ion. The answer is pretty straightforward. The lithium ion got a higher voltage, 16.8 volt as fully charged and that's clearly too high for a 12 volt system. We definitely don't want to blow our quite expensive radio and they might have a uh, over voltage protection codon is a good company but yeah do not do not try this like i would say uh, for a 12 volt system that are designed to be run in car 15 volt is a absolute top limit like 14.4 volt is something that you can you can expect of a running car with a alternator that can happen so 15 volt is absolutely rating i would never go above that and here with almost 17 volt that's a no-go also we've got a, another problem with uh, primary batteries as they are fitted with a fuse and if you are going to blow building fuels then this is not possible to open there are no user serviceable parts inside and you have to throw the battery so we also don't know that don't want that so i did make a research what's the maximum current that we can take from this battery and i found this device that is issued to the US Army. This is basically a hot air gun that is powered from two batteries like this and you might say here is a model number MCH100E and here are the battery BB390 and you myself say to yourself why I'm showing you this here we've got a spec for the device. Here we've got the power, 325 watt on a 48 volt system. So they are connected together. But of course, power is power. And we're going to divide that in half. So we can see that over 150 watts, it's safe to pull from that battery. And as this is issue from for the US Army, they I'm sure they make a lot of testing. I make sure that you do not blow any internal fuse and so on. So that could be should be safe. Let's try to power it on. Let's see what we've got. Here I've got the Anderson power pole connected to this wire with uh, two fuse on the positive and the negative here you can see i've got the connector from aliexpress that i'm showing you on the other video and here we've got a port that it's going to be connected the plug that's going to be made with the battery and let's power it on here we've got the dummy load and here i've got the DC clamp meter. We are going to clamp or on our positive lead. And we are going to plug the code and radio. And as you can see, 
we are taking almost one and the half amp as just being power on with a squelch off on. I'm going to mute the radio. You can see almost the same. And let's try to do a power test. I'm going to hit tune. And I'm not sure if you can see, but over there there is a battery that's reading a 13 volt. And I'm going to press the PTT and you can see the voltage drop to the 12 volt and the power is around 35 watts that's what we are sending right now and looks like it's going to to stay Testing, testing, I'm going to testing, 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 one, two, three, four, five, radio check. So as you can see, it's working quite nice. There is some voltage drop. I'm not sure if that's on the leads, but yeah, it looks pretty, pretty nice to me. And the power is over 12 amp. So we are pulling quite hefty amount of power of this battery and everything looks nice. The indicator are still on. Yeah, so looks like it is possible to, to power the Kodan NGTSR out of the military battery just using a straight wire and everything looks working fine so here you've got here you've got the answer i hope you find it interesting see you next time and bye bye